Well, thanks everyone for joining us here at the Quick Hits Theater for our 2.30 presentation, a car, a car wash franchise is a proven formula for success. Eric O'Connor's 20-year career in business and franchise development includes leadership roles with several national franchisers, including Huntington Learning, Sylvan Learning, Edible Arrangements, Orion Foods, and Sentin Corporations. Eric also served as president and CEO of SB Petro Partners, LLC, and SB Petro Partners 2, LLC, owners of four gas station and convenience stores. As the first point of contact for many franchise candidates, and a, contest and a constant touchstone for those in development, Eric strives to build a strong, enduring, and mutually beneficial relationship between Tommy's Express and every franchise partner from day one. Eric is a graduate of Michigan State University with a degree in marketing and advertising. Please welcome Mr. Eric O'Connor. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you everyone for coming. My name is Eric O'Connor. I am the director of franchise development for Tommy Express Car Wash. Um, we started this business uh, 2016 of September. We're actually three companies, and I'll, I'll start with who we are. We started this company because we saw a need in the industry for a formatted business model to assist people in the car wash industry. So it started with Quality Car Wash 48 years ago in a town called Holland, Michigan. We are retailers. We have multiple locations throughout West Michigan. We're a manufacturer, so 1991, we formed a partnership with a group called AVW out of Chicago and began manufacturing car wash equipment through our partnership with those guys. What we recognized is that we were building washes for other customers and we saw that our branded stores, our corporate stores outperformed our customers. We gave great technical support, but we knew there was more operational and marketing support we could provide and we saw this industry changing quite a bit. When I talk about the change in the industry, I talk to people about, you know, when I come to these shows, I see that there's a lot of focus on car wash equipment and soap. And that's the equipment that, that runs the business. I look at this more as a business model. So I, I put three examples up here of different models and it kind of compares why Tommy was, was invented. Jimmy John's is, a, in my opinion, is a better proven model than, than Subway for a simple reason. It's a sandwich, they put it on bread, it's meats. But Jimmy John's has higher throughput than Subway. They make more sandwiches between 10.30 and 2, which is the prime hours. They can, they can make more sandwiches and drive more revenue, therefore they're more successful. When I come out here to the West Coast, I always stop at In-N-Out Burger. The difference between In-N-Out Burger and McDonald's is a customer experience. They still serve for $3.29 cheeseburgers, but when you come into In-N-Out Burger here on the West Coast, at any given time you'll see about 20 20 cars in line and 60 people inside the, the, having a hamburger. And then I show people Starbucks. And I talk about my father back in the day. He used to go greasy spoon, get a cup of coffee, pay 99 cents for it. And now my girlfriend goes to Starbucks four times a week or four times a day and pays 4.29 for a cup of coffee. People expect something different. They want a different customer experience. And this model was put together for the purpose of Jimmy John's for throughput. It's a throughput model. We wash more cars in the hours we're open than our competitors. This is the model. This is the franchise model. It is a 130 foot tunnel that processes clean, shiny, dry vehicles. We have a system in place from here to here that produce, produces a product that when the cars come out, we have satisfied customers. This particular car wash is located in West Michigan. West Michigan is one of the most competitive car wash markets in the industry. Mr. Car Wash has 12 locations in our town. They came up, bought all the competitors, rebranded them, and now this location right here is this location. Last year, we washed 273,000 cars, and this year we're up 60% year over last year. When Mr. Car Wash came to town, went at us with a, with a marketing campaign, and it's because our success comes from our, our operational support we provide to our franchise partners and marketing. How we do it's different. Traditional, if you saw 20 cars in line here, the last car gets through in about seven and a half minutes. We process three cars per minute. We can process anywhere between 175 and 200 cars per hour, okay? How we do that is, is three, three, three ways. Cash and credit, I mean, cash customer service lane, credit card lane, 
and what we call the monthly unlimited club. Very important part of your business. 35 to 40% of your business comes from the monthly membership program in our model. 60, 65% comes from cash. What separates us from our competitors is we use a different technology. If you think about what's being sold here, the old technology, traditional car washes use the RFID tags. Your customers will walk in to the building, they will engage your employee, your employee will sit at a computer, he'll type in their information, he'll put in their payment information, they'll pick a wash package, then your employee walks outside, they put the sticker on the car, your customer drives around the building, they get here, they wash, and they go to this gate, any one of these gates pop up, it takes between five and 10 seconds. At Tommy's Express, we use a totally different technology. We use a downloadable mobile app. Your customer manages their own, mobile, their own membership program. They put in their personal information, they put in their payment information, they pick their wash package, they put their license plate in, they push a button, they drive up, they get to the gate, the gate pops up in about two seconds, they go through, come out here in about two minutes, clean, shiny, and dry. The Express Car Wash is a convenience business. We provide an automated premium service, and our customers understand that when they come by one of our washes, if there's 20, 25 cars in a line, they don't turn around and go someplace else. They come here because they know they can get in and out in less than 10 minutes if there's 20 cars in line. That's a benefit to the business. In addition, our team understanding that customer service is critical and how much time it takes to manage those membership programs. We've designed through Tommy's Express a, a dedicated customer service team that handles all those level one concerns for your members. Level one concerns. How do I add a car to my package? How do I, upgrade my, how do I update my credit card information? How do I uh, update, or how do I add a vehicle, right? So how do I change my payment information? How do I add a vehicle? How do I upgrade the package? We handle all those through a dedicated customer service team. They're not calling your team, distracting them from washing vehicles and doing customer service. Any level two concerns, we process it, we elevate it to the manager with trained scripts, whether it's a claim or a concern, and then we, then we monitor Google and Facebook to make sure those claims or concerns aren't being published on social media to damage your wash. Here's a, here's a success we're talking about, Rivertown, Grand Rapids, in the most competitive market in the industry. Grand Rapids, Michigan, about 360,000 people in the MSA, 12 Mr. Car Washes. Our population density is critical, we look at it, about 60,000 cars, 30,000 vehicles per day, median income levels are average in Michigan. As you see here, last, in the fir first year we opened, the first year we opened, <clears throat> we washed just under 201,000 cars, March of 2016. In that full calendar year, 2017, we washed 273,000 cars. That's a 63% increase over, year over 12 month trailing. And then this year alone, we're up 64% in the number of cars we washed in the first quarter, up 60% in revenue. That comes from the strength of the operational support and marketing support we provide to our franchise community. In December alone of this year, we used our marketing programs and our gift card programs to add 843 new members to our membership and growing us from over 1,800 members as of this time, or as of Christmas 2017, or 2016, to over 3,500 members today. Building that membership base stabilizes your business and allows you then to scale it and look for the next location. Waverly location, which is <clears throat> considered one of, the, one of the number one car washes in West Michigan, is another Tommy wash. It is part of our, is part of our unbranded washes through Quality Car Wash. Last year, we washed 515,000 cars and this is in a town of 33,000 people, 110,000 people in a 10 mile radius. We have four washes within a three mile radius servicing that population. In that, in that town, we wash over a million cars. That talks to clustering and brand equity. Sir, you have a question? Well, as I, as I showed you previous, we have a quality car wash. Our, our retail organization has been in business for 48 years. We didn't change the name in that model, but everywhere else in the country, we're Tommy's Express. Again, I show this because this talks to the strength of, of, of being a, a, a branded. If you guys understand Mr. Car Wash's business model, they buy up different, they rebrand them, put a little lipstick on them. Everything is, is different. Every wash is inconsistent. The customer has no idea of the consistency of the product they're going to get because every wash looks different, some of the equipment packages are different. This is, our, this is our strategy for this, the next few years. This wash is open. 
breaking ground on this site this year, this site next year. This is our franchise partner in, in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and then another site right here. We're not afraid of competition because we built a better mousetrap. So why do people franchise with us? Well, it's that iconic building design. It's an eye-catching building. It is part of the model that's important. We provide tremendous development assistance. We have three project managers that work with you, construction project manager, a building sales project manager, and an equipment project manager to work you, with you throughout the process. Site selection is critical. We're, we're, we're very involved in the process, working with a network of, of national brokers around the country. Tommy's, Tommy Car Wash Systems, our vendor, is known for their innovative technology and proprietary equipment line. And then we provide tremendous support on the franchise size. There's initial training. Your fran our franchise partners come to our, to our brand. They receive four weeks of training at our, our corporate location with, the, with your store manager, the owner, and then what we call the wash tech, where they go through operational training, equipment training. And so when they hit your floor, they're well versed on how car washes run. For your local employees who, aren't, who don't travel to us, we have a progressive training model where we've chronicled every aspect of a wash, whether it was point of sale training, wash package training, customer service training, equipment maintenance, in video training. So your employees, when they hire on, they go through about 40 hours of training, a web-based training program, where they'll watch a video, and they'll take a test, they'll watch a video, take a test, watch a video, take a test, and they can't move on until they, they're proficient in the, in the task before. So by the time they hit your floor, they're well trained and it speeds up the onboarding process for your staff. Once you're open, we assign everybody a field business consultant and a wash tech to oversee the, the operational and the marketing support to make sure that you're driving revenue all the time. Our vendor, Tommy Car Wash Systems, provides technical support. Stop by the booth and talk to the team. We provide economies of scale purchase for our, through our purchasing powder. All of our franchise partners receive a 10% discount on replacement parts and, and equipment and, re, and a 10% discount on chemicals. And then it also is all the marketing support. So when we talk about how this industry changes, we understand that this is a local business. People are not driving more than three to five mile radius around their location. We are laser focused on our marketing efforts using digital media and social media to drive revenue to our sites. And we have a marketing department, that, we have a marketing company we bought this year integrated into our system that works with our franchise partners to <clears throat> create development strategies, one digitally and then two locally. We consider ourselves a technology company. When I first came to the company, the first memo I sent to the owner was, the point of sale is the most critical part of your business. It allows your customers crystal clear reporting and that they have to know what their numbers are to want to move forward. We have designed a point of sale that is different than anybody else in the industry. We streamline it to interact with our monthly membership program, our management app, which is a downloadable management app where your customers can go in. You, you can go in as an owner and view your wash. You can look at wash totals. You can look at key performance indicators. You can look at detergent levels, all aspects of your wash, and monitor the progress. And it all syncs up with your controllers to make, allow you to process those vehicles. No third party uh, point of sale with management agreements, maintenance agreements, because we designed everything to interact together and allow us to process those cars and, and move people through the system. In short, guys, when you, when, you, when you join a business model like a franchise, you're in business for yourself, but you're not by yourself. This is our team. This is the marketing team. This is the operational support team. We have another whole division of, of the equipment team, knowing that every day you have people behind you helping you run your business. This week, this week when we came to the show, we opened up our newest franchise partner in San Antonio, Texas. He opened up, and before he ever opened his first door, he had over 600 members in his membership program. Our mobile app and our digital marketing allowed people to sign up before he ever opened for our app, creating revenue for him. So the first day he opened, he had 600 members in his membership base before he ever opened up his first location. I think his third day, he may have washed 600 cars while he's still testing his equipment. And we do that by announcing things on, that we're testing equipment on social media and people come and allow us to help roll out the new wash. I do a webinar. For more information, reach out to me. I do a webinar, it takes about an hour to get through. I encourage you, if you wanna learn more about our business model, to reach out to me and uh, there's my information. I'm gonna clarify by saying that Tommy's Express is a marketing and operational platform to help you drive your car wash. 
Tommy Car Wash Systems, our vendor for the building and the equipment. I want to clarify that so you guys understand that a lot of the questions on equipment and some technical support comes from our team and we're marketing operational support. This building over the course of the last year ranges from three and a half to four and a half million dollars minus land. And there's a big range. And so I am obligated, no, that, that is, that this is the, the, the building structure and the equipment, the building skeleton erected and the equipment installed. Yes, we have, a, we, what, so what I do is I do a webinar and it takes about an hour to get through. And the reason I designed this webinar is because all the questions you have about franchise fees, initial franchise fees, are put in context with the support. Our initial franchise fee is $40,000. It, it gives you a protected territory and the training and the use of our marks. There's an ongoing royalty of 4% and there's a 1% brand development fund. This model is ran with two to three employees per shift in our locations that wash over 1,500 to 2,000 cars. You might have a fourth employee in there. Our, our location that did 3,087 cars had a fifth to uh, monitor the, the exit because cars are getting backed up. But really you open with two, close with two, and then you bring a third employee in, and then you may bring a fourth employee in. That's how I end. So we started this franchise September 2016. I was brought on to put together legal infrastructure. We sold uh, last year, well as of today, we're at 66 units. And by the end of the year, we'll have over 120. This year, we're earmarked to have about 25 units break ground this year. Uh, Menifee, California opens in about a month and a half. So it's been very successful. There, I mean, there's areas all over the country available, but uh, the success has been uh, unprecedented. I've been in the industry for 25 years. There was a slide here that I would put up with my background and I, I mentioned, I used to run companies like Edible Arrangements and Sylvan Learning and Huntington Learning. My job was going to brands and help rebuild them or uh, restructure them and, and create a story. This by far is one of the best business models I've ever seen and the reason is, is because the people that manufacture the equipment did it out of necessity. This came from 48 years of failures and, and success and they built this business model because of retailers. They live this business every day. Our, our owner is our harshest critic and our biggest advocate because they saw, whatever we roll out to our franchise community has been tested, researched, and developed. So that is why this franchise model works. And there was a pent up demand for more marketing and operational support because quite honestly, when you come to these shows, everyone talks about how the brushes spin and how great the soaps are. But how do you drive revenue to the door? This is a marketing business. The car wash is a product. We have created an automated product that people wash their car, but at the end of the day, it's a retail business. How do you create an environment with a better culture? How do you, how do you train your employees? How do you onboard them better? Those are all the things that business, people who want to scale their business past one or two need help. So one of, our, one of our franchise partners, I encourage you to come to our booth and speak with him. He has an unbranded wash and he has a branded wash. He came on board because he knew that the support we provide would help him scale his business. Now he's getting ready to break ground on three, four, and five. In this industry, if you guys know, people start off, everybody comes to these, our car wash manufacturers and say, I want to build 10 of these things. The truth is, they get one open, and two years later, they're looking for their second location, and they may peter out after three. This business model allows scalability, because you have somebody working for you. To open up your doors with five or 600 members before you ever wash your first car, puts you at ease. Well, I appreciate your time, thank you.